Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 53 of Ocean Block. Whoa! <laughs> yes. So, um, in today's episode, uh, I did a few things, um, but I think we may be ready to start doing the end game section. Um, I could do all the other quests uh, and get them, just knock them out, um, but I don't know if we need to. Um, also, I did some more draconic. Um, I just made a couple of modules for the bow, the auto fire module, which I tried and I didn't really like it. Um, so I took it out. Uh, a wyvern axe, nice. Um, a wyvern projectile damage module. I put three of those in there. Bedrock. <laughs> what? A single bedrock. Ooh, that. Um, that is. Interesting. Because once you place it, you can't remove it. Uh, oh, and it gave me two wyvern axes. Just like it gave me two wyvern picks. Um, oh, I got... Uh, like a mending helmet. I, was, I, I need to figure out a way to take that off. <laughs> if it's if it's even useful. If uh, yeah, this stuff is taking damage. So also I figured out you could put the wyvern chest piece on on the the body slot. And get the shield as well, so I could wear my breastplate too. So that was pretty cool. Uh, oh, that one didn't go in there. Put the bedrock away. I'm scared. <laughs> what if I place it somewhere and it, it annoys me? Because I can't get rid of it. Um, oh, I made the new axe. I finally got enough uh, Supremium uh, metal and I, I must have miscounted or they changed uh, how much the molds take because I had like four extra and if I'd have known that <laughs> I could have done that eight Supremiums ago. But it is damage 50, 57 with max quartz on it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm itching to use it. <laughs> uh, but I think we might be ready to start at least thinking about end game. I mean, I don't really know what it takes. Um, We just start with this quantum compressor, I guess, and um, ultimate crafting table. Oh boy, crafting table. Oh boy. <laughs> so there are like lots of tiers of that. Uh, interesting. The ultimate crafting table. Well, I have to look into that. Looks like uh, all of these are just Reform. <laughs> you can do the 
they're not like locked behind anything. Uh, besides, these are blocked behind the quantum compressor. So, uh, let's, I guess, try to do, I think the ones that might help the most would be to start doing this and this. Is this just a guess? You could probably just do uh, try to build the quantum compressor. Uh, oh, I forgot to do this. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> um, takes this black iron ingots, which is just iron and black dye. Uh, the only thing is, yeah, I only have three ink sacks over here, so I'll have to go to the mob farm to grab some ink. Because I know I got tons over here. Yeah, 51 stacks. There, that should be enough. Woo! <laughs> that no fall damage sure is nice. Uh, it's pretty fun. Not having to worry about uh, taking damage. Um. Let's just go ahead and turn a couple of the stacks of that into black dye, because I know it has to be in the black. What is this? Extended crafting. What is that? Oh. That mod adds the compressor and all the singularities and all of these uh, components and doodads. Pedestals, luminescence blocks, cool. an ender star. Oh, I remember the hat. Slate is just two. Is that all we need? It's just one. Okay. Uh, an elite catalyst. Two of those. Oh. Elite components. Four of those. Ouch. Uh, so I need four black iron slate. Luminescence. Oh, we got that. Glowstone, gunpowder, and redstone dust. Make a whole stack. Why not? So we need two of these. That means we need eight of these. So I'm going to need 
eight more black iron slate first. Eight of those, two of those, sweet, um, an elite component, another one, so I need another slate. Black iron frame. Oh, I need another slate. <laughs> okay. Is that it? We did it! <laughs> what? The quantum compressor. Let's check it out. It opened up all of those. Tier 4 storage module. Impressive. Nice. Uh, <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, the recipe probably isn't as daunting now as it was before when I was actually using the RF tool storage. Um, but yeah, I took the infused diamonds and I didn't have the dimensional shards early on. Not until I went to the end. And, and mine some of them. So, but we have that now. So we can totally do that. Oh, man. Uh, I've never uh, played with this mod before. So, it's new and shiny. Quantum compressor. This is probably the input slot. This is probably where it's doing an action. Or this is the input slot. Not a sensor. Oh, here's an extended crafting second edition. A book and a black iron ingot. Oh. What am I trying to do? <laughs> Crafting adds new ways to craft items as well as extra crafting items and utilities. This guidebook is for explaining the functionality of the different crafting methods in this mod. How they are implemented is decided by the mod pack creator. Uh, crafting methods, crafting components, crafting utilities. Crafting methods. The section goes over the different crafting mechanisms added by extended crafting. Compression crafting. Here we go. Quantum compression is the process of compressing items a little too much. <laughs> this is done using a quantum compressor. The quantum compressor is a powered machine that can hold and compress extremely large amounts of materials. Items placed inside the quantum compressor go into an internal buffer for use in compression. The buffer is represented as a blue bar. Each recipe usually requires a catalyst. The catalyst is placed in the leftmost slot and does not get used up. 
Once there are enough items in the buffer, the machine will begin to craft the item. The quantum compressor will only use power while crafting. If you happen to put items into the compressor that you would rather not lose forever, you can press the eject button above the input slot to get them back. That's good to know. <laughs> items in the buffer are stored in the endless void and can only be reobtained by ejecting. Breaking the block will cause those items to get lost forever, so be careful. The item input buffer of the quantum compressor is capable of holding billions of items, but by default will only hold as many as the recipe requires. Uh, you can disable this limit by clicking on the lock button next to the input buffer. Okay. Um, table crafting. This mod adds tiered crafting tables that come in 3x3, 5x5, 7x7, and 9x9 sizes. These tables hold their inventories when closed. That's cool. Uh, auto table crafting. Auto crafting tables are an upgraded version of crafting tables that can automatically insert items and be piped out of. Item insertion is done by simply placing a chest above the table and inserting items into said chest. Item insertion uses power. For item insertion to work, you must lay out a recipe in the grid and save the recipe. This is done by shift left clicking on one of the three recipe slots in the top right. You can then select the recipe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to take in all at once. Um, How are you doing? Okay, so the catalyst goes here, and then you put the items in here. But what is the catalyst? Is it like an ender star or something? Okay, let's look at the recipe for it. Oh, maybe it tells you what the catalyst is. Um, Supremium coal singularity. The catalyst is the ultimate catalyst. Ah. Cool. Now, uh, <clears throat> which ones do we... It looks like all of them got opened up all at once. Uh, so we could pretty much pick anything of one of these to do. Sea pickles. <laughs> sea pickles. Raw neural processor singularity. That takes 1,500 items. An ultimate catalyst. That's a lot of nether quartz. It's like 4,500. 1,500 diamonds. Oh, see, we couldn't do that yet. Because uh, I only have about 1,000 a, a diamonds left. <laughs> so we might need to uh, bump up diamond production. Uh, I've been thinking about doing that. Uh, going into the sluice section. We'll look into that more. Um, yeah. Where am I? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to the sluice section uh, because we could scooch this over and add a second 
um, thing of gravel, uh, producing gravel and and stuff, and, and double, basically double our diamond usage, or not usage, <laughs> time of production. So. I'm thinking I might uh, tear this down over here because I'm not using it anymore. Uh, got my Paxel. I can just use this. take that into the sluices and see what we can do. I think we have, whoa, lag a little bit. I figured out what was causing all the lag uh, a couple of episodes ago. It was, I had to restart Minecraft. <laughs> I had it open for a while, days. Uh, because it's a, it takes so long to load. <laughs> I don't want to close it. Uh, but yeah, so I restarted and the lag cleared up. So that's good. I'm trying to think, what else will I need to set one of these up? Um, I'll need like cables. Okay, well, got some mini key. Got one of these. Um, oh yeah, I came over here because I think I got another material stonework factory. Yes! I got another one. I could just set that to produce gravel. And I won't have to get a pulverizer um, and deal with extra things it would just be gravel produced. No like flint or sand or anything. Yeah, and I think I got I got pipes. I got energy pipes. Oh, I don't need those energy pipes. Uh, fluid pipe. Set this, set this guy over here. It's good, because that's getting water right there. Good. It's all according to plan. All according to plan. Water and lava and power. I don't have either one of those here. Whoop. Get some water. Oh, I, I put this out because I got it. Uh, I made it <laughs> and I was like a blast chiller that sounds like it make ice and it does and I got it uh, upgraded so it's producing it quite fast I think I'll turn it, just turning water into ice I forgot I need to make a new crafter uh, to tell it to craft that ice into packed ice 
that can get turned into blue ice, <laughs> which would give me more ice uh, because I only have one and a half thousand. That's not enough. Um, larva. Gotta have my larva. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, put you in. Okay, now I have to configure this guy. Oh, it's not getting power. Not getting power. Oh, there it goes. Alright, now it's starting to produce stuff. So, tell it to uh, take the blue, the first inventory, and I want it to go out, push out to the bottom. And then, pipe wrench. And then we have doubled our production. I can even um, increase that by putting um, an upgrade in here, a speed upgrade. That would uh, that'd be pretty cool. Um, and this doesn't have any, oh it does have an upgrade, nice. I did the thing. Awesome. Okay, so I'll probably try to get an upgrade for this and increase our diamond production even further um, and look into more of the in-game content. Uh, like, what, which one to start with, even? <laughs> so, some of them look pretty complicated. Uh, Like, is there crystal shard? So this one is are these crystal shards, um, which you can get by sieving crushed in stone through a gold mesh, not a diamond. I was sieving it through a diamond mesh. Uh, and you get these crystal shards. 7% chance. So I only need 1,500 of that. <laughs> uh, 1,500. So that's pretty interesting. So I guess I do need that set up again. I could just make another netherite uh, sluice and put it back if necessary. Um, Yeah, because uh, I don't have the the end essence being um, turned into uh, in stone right now. I, I stopped it because I needed it for something else. Yes, um, that is what I'll be doing, and I thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.